What is up? What's going on, Giants fans? It is Thursday, quarter to three. Leaving work. It's a rainy day down here in New Jersey. The Dirty Jers, aka the armpit of America. Uh, I'm on here to uh, discuss some news, some breaking news. Bittersweet. Wasn't Ken Dorsey. Wasn't the guy we originally all wanted, I believe. But from what I'm hearing, he's pretty damn good for second place. The Giants finally have their new offensive coordinator, and it is former Chiefs quarterback coach, I believe, Mike Kafka, former Eagles quarterback, backup. Uh, the last time I've seen this motherfucker play, he threw two interceptions against the Giants. Terrible quarterback, but doesn't mean necessarily that you're a terrible quarterback coach or an offensive coordinator. It helps with working with the Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes the last couple years, as well as working under Eric Bieniemy and Andy Reid. Um, he is well-respected, once again, around the league. A lot of executives and front office members uh, have think very highly of this guy. Um, they think that he was on his way to eventually be an offensive coordinator. He's a young offensive mind. Um, when you play the quarterback position, as he did in college and in the pros, um, you still think like a quarterback, him being 34 years young, that tremendously helps us. Um, it should help Daniel Jones uh, out significantly, I believe. Um, hopefully he can take away some things he taught Patrick Mahomes and he can help towards uh, Daniel Jones's career. Or if Jones is not the guy, whoever we decide to move on with him uh, in the new quarterback position. Uh, but yeah, Mike Kafka is the guy. He is coming over from Kansas City. We have our offensive coordinator. Uh, I'm pretty happy. Um, it was between him or Pep Hamilton. Uh, I was kind of pulling for Pep Hamilton because um, he seems like he's had more experience with the position. Um, but, I mean, you can't go wrong with an Andy Reid uh, coaching tree. They seem to uh, put out some really good coaches, especially on the offensive side of the ball. So I'll take this with a grain of sand. I'm liking it. I uh, don't know too much really about him other than that. He just was a former Eagles quarterback. Well, Andy Reid knows him well. The relationship has grown on really good and uh, flourished over the last few years, especially working together with Mahomes. Um, Mahomes says he's a great guy. Uh, really has helped him a lot uh, progress through as a quarterback each year of his career since he's been in the league. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. Um, we still don't know if who will be the call, uh, play caller. Uh, is it going to be Dable? Is it going to be Kafka? Is it going to be a, uh, a mixed a mixed uh, decision between them? Maybe he calls them one, one half, he calls them the other half. I don't know. Um, personally, I'd rather have Dable call the plays um, since it will be his offense that he's implementing. I think for at least the first year until Kafka is a little bit more comfortable with the playbook and the, the scheme that he's going to be running, I say Dable should get the first dibs on calling the plays. Um, and then Kafka maybe can slowly, slowly transition to then taking over. That way Dable has more time to focus on the entire team uh, moving forward instead of just one side of the ball, which I believe a, a coach should be doing. Um, if I'm not mistaken, Biennemi does call the plays in Kansas City. Andy Reid used to, but the more he uh, he was working with Biennemi, the more trust was established between those two guys. And the uh, the play calling with that went with Eric, and Andy Reid had more control of the team. Um, but we'll see. It's still too early to tell, but at least we have our offensive coordinator, as well as other news. Some weird shit went down yesterday with the Minnesota Vikings. Apparently, Jim Harbaugh felt like he had the fucking job. And on National Signing Day, which I think makes him look really bad, coming back to a big the Michigan coach, how the fuck do you leave National Signing Day to go interview for an NFL job? On all days, that's going to fuck with your recruiting for the next couple of years. If you do in, in, uh, decide to stay in Ann Arbor, that's going to fuck up a lot of recruits' decisions coming to Michigan because they think that you're just going to leave ship whenever you get a good opportunity in the NFL. Um, but anyway, 
the interview with Quasi, whatever his fucking name is, K, K, Cam, they call him out in Minnesota, um, Quasi Mensa. Um, they did work well. Uh, they did work with each other in San Francisco when Harbaugh was the coach there. Um, so those are the reasons why I think Harbaugh was pretty, uh, pretty excited and uh, pretty confident that he was going to get the job offer. But the Vikings seem to, according to Adam Schefter, never offered Harbaugh the job. Um, and it looks like they're going with the Rams offensive coordinator um, as their next head coach. Again, that can't be finalized until the Rams season is over. Um, but it looks like Patrick Graham will not be the coach of the Vikings, which I believe, unless any other team comes out, the Dolphins, Texans, Jaguars, who are still have head coaching vacancies, unless somehow Patrick Graham interviews with them, it looks like we were retaining Patrick Graham as our defensive coordinator, which I am very fucking happy about. I have all the love for Patrick Graham. I think he's a great defensive coordinator. I said time and time again, players really love him. They play hard for him. They, they treat him like one. he's like one of the guys, which he is. He is a fucking guy. But they just treat him like he's out there playing with them, um, even though he's on the sidelines calling the defensive plays. Um, but he's a great coach, great mind, young guy, but he has a lot of experience. Um, so I'm really happy that I think we're going to be keeping Patrick Graham as our defensive coordinator, um, keeping the defense continuity the same, keeping the same kind of play, same scheme. However, I hope that we eventually move past the 3-4 defense. I've said time and time again how much I despise 3-4. Uh, I feel like we don't generate enough pressure on the quarterback without those uh, four edge, four pass rushers, um, especially the two fast edge rushers on the end. Um, I really miss the NASCAR days with Kumanuka, OC, Tuck, uh, Tollison, uh, JPP. Those are some great fucking D-lines we had. And I really want to, I really am hopeful and want to eventually get back to the 4-3-D. Um, I feel like that's where the Giants defense plays their best um, with four stud D linemen with three good uh, tackling linebackers in the middle. Um, but anyway, it is good news. Kafka is the OC. Looks like Patrick Graham staying as the defensive coordinator. Um, and now we just got to worry about uh, hopefully we don't lose draft picks with all this Brian Flores shit. I'm not getting involved with it. I'm just going to let it play out. Uh, I'm not the Giants. I honestly don't know what, what went on, and I'm not going to pretend I did. That will be a discussion for another day, if that ever even comes up again. But this video is about Kafka. We got our offensive coordinator. Um, so it's good news. Good day to be a Giants fan. It looks like our coaching staff is slowly starting to uh, fill up. And uh, all we have left now is just uh, scouting and uh, upcoming drafts. Uh, so some, some pretty exciting shit still on the way. Um, anyway, guys, make sure you hit the subscribe button, comment, and uh, let's talk. Let's talk Giants and go Giants. See you later, guys.